Many of you may be planning your first outing this weekend after months of isolation. And for some, it will mean a stop at a place of worship. Andrew Horansky reports what to expect. Churches, which are so often the source of spiritual guidance, had received little practical guidance from the government until today, such as reducing the sharing of holy books. Even before that, though, many churches had been planning to reopen this weekend on their own terms, COVID-19 in mind. I asked myself the question, would I be okay if one of my closest family member came anywhere inside of this church? At Mount Zion of Oakwood Village, Pastor Larry Macon had mapped a way forward by removing armrests, spacing out the choir, and limiting his Sunday crowd. At one time, 1,700 people could fit into this room. This weekend, there are just 300 seats, and it could stay that way for a while. Well, we're being told that this might be a long-term dance. It won't be a, you know, three, six months uh, kind of a dance. It could be a, a year, two years. For days, President Trump has been calling churches, synagogues, and mosques essential, and this afternoon threatened recourse on governors who refuse to treat them as such. If they don't do it, I will override the governors. Though in some cases, opening has caused problems. A church in Houston closed after a priest died from coronavirus. In Palermo, California, close to 200 churchgoers may have been exposed by a congregant who tested positive following a Mother's Day service. Tonight, the Diocese of Cleveland has released a video saying masks must be worn from the time you leave your car and be pulled down only for the Eucharist. And present one hand resting flat on the palm of the other. The diocese extending dispensation for those who are not yet ready to attend. And virtual services still likely to remain a popular option across faiths. The rabbi of this synagogue saying the response has been positive. While many houses of worship did shut down in Ohio to keep their parishioners safe, Governor DeWine did not actually order them closed. Some did get creative offering drive up services, while this weekend some are choosing to remain shut down. Reporting in downtown Cleveland tonight, I'm Andrew Horansky, 3 News.